Straight Talk from Israel. You're listening to Israel News Talk Radio. Hi everyone, this is Orly Benny Davis and this is from Jerusalem with Love. Today is November 11, 2020 and it's my birthday, a day that is notable all over the world because it's Veteran Day. Happy Veteran Day, you all. So I get to celebrate with all the great guys in the world and, you know, with a very special guy, my son, Ethan who was my birthday gift so many years ago. Happy birthday, Ethan, my dear. And it's amazing that we are here in the Holy Land, the only Holy Land in the world asking ourselves, what is going on? What is the purpose of all of this? And the coronavirus in play that make us all feel captivated by the verdict of the scientists. If we can go out or we can forget it or we, you know, it's all handled by the health department. And if you let them handle the policy, they will find that the whole world is suffering for something. So are we kidding yourself? And we have been through so much in the last few years. We had such a turmoil. And now that we feel that we almost got it right, we almost, we had, you know, we had the peace accords, the Abra peace accords, the balance of power was, you know, getting there. And now we are looking at the, all the election, the U.S. election, and we find out that President Trump was challenged and defeated in a mail election to have a 70 percent ratio for Biden you know it didn't feel right and it raises some question with me and trust your guts we always say remember that and that's all and it's all on the open you know everybody can see and uh, you know I am not the kind to to believe in fairy tales and you know we have to watch but to think that you know this is I was a landslide uh, that never happened since FDR. Is Biden FDR? I don't think so. So we have to talk about it. So let's go to break and we'll be back after this. Israel is located in one of the most volatile areas in the world. Israel is an island of stability and a sea of war and unrest. In the midst of this turmoil, Israel stands out as a beacon of order and human progress. Each week we update you on what's happening in this, the Jewish state, a true light unto the nations. This is Jay Shapiro. Join me every Thursday on Israel News Talk Radio. Benny Davis, and this is from Jerusalem with love. Today, we want to welcome our friends from around the globe, from United States of America, from Israel, Canada, United Kingdom, Germany, oh, Spain, Czech Republic, Indonesia, Don, I hope you're listening, Slovakia, Ireland, Netherlands, and France. Guys, I'm so happy you're here in Netherlands. Uh, Daniel, if you're there, um, you know, you can call after our visitor here. Anyway, we have a special, special visitor. You know, every time we talk about the future of uh, the world, we talk about people, children, uh, those leaders that emerge from the crowd, and you can see those great students that study hard. And in the the land of Israel, we have uh, the blessing of having so many good people from all over. We have Jewish people, we have uh, Muslim, we have Arabs, we have Druze, we have Cherkessi, we have so many. And, you know, when I met those group of uh, students from ORT, um, 
and uh, they are Arab students. I was so impressed by them. Actually, we we, we became friends immediately. And one of, of the this incredible friends is Amar Muhammad. Amar, welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you, Arlie. It's so good to hear you. So, so first of all, uh, I know that you live in a de- democracy like Israel, and you know that uh, w- we had so many elections. Uh, yes. What do you think about the election in America? What uh, do you do? You get with the process? Do you understand what is going on there? Amar, are you there? Yes. Can you repeat that, please? The sound is really uh, uh, no. Uh, what I'm what I'm saying, you see, yeah. um, in democracy there is a, a lot of power and a lot of will, and people want to influence. And it's really hard because uh, a country, a state, like Israel, yeah. like America, they have uh, they have ideas to how to to work. Yes. Now, when you have election, you need to choose. So, what do you think is the democratic way is is good thing? Yes, of course. Um, I believe that the elections uh, are on a very important uh, process in the democratic uh, system uh, because here we simply people can vote, people can uh, choose uh, their their own decision. They can make their own decision. Uh, to choose uh, the right one. This is uh, what uh, democracy's values what mean. Right. It's really, we, we uh, yeah, the people have policy and the policy uh, needs to be implemented by the leaders. Now, uh, politics in the last uh, few years become very bad, but at least we have we have a democracy and we can choose, we can change. We don't like it, but this is the way it is. Now, the Palestinian, for some reason, um, you know, we, we start the peace uh, process a long time ago. They had an election in 2005 and then they stopped. Do you know why they stopped? Uh, yes, why they... actually, uh, Palestinians uh, do not make elections nearly since uh, 2006, 2005 when uh, the when uh, Fatah is uh, the the active parties in the Palestinian political life refused uh, the winning of uh, the another party Hamas, is, uh, Hamas. Hamas yes. yes they refused that uh, winning of Hamas and uh, they like simply go to a real war and ended by uh, imposing Fatah control over the West Bank and in Gaza uh, Hamas you got the control. Hamas, right? Yes. Why? Why? Uh, we, I, I can't just say that maybe they have a internal conflict between them on power. They they have here a conflict between them on power, and uh, every side is uh, sticking tightly to to its position in power. And right. before that, yeah. I just want to say that uh, this with no elections in uh, the palestinians is, uh, is 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 very simple mean that not having uh, a clear and unified palestinian position is badly lead to limiting the peacemaking efforts with uh, israel and uh, which is uh, already turned off unfortunately um, of course, this is uh, not the only or the major reason. There is many, several complicated reasons in this. And uh, actually for that, we're talking about uh, rebuilding peace. Uh, just yesterday, uh, we heard about uh, the death of uh, Mr. Saeb Rikat. Right. Uh, he was, yes, yes, he was the chief of negotiators. Yes, he pushed very strong leader. To, yes, he pushed forward the uh, efforts to advance a uh, resolution to the decades uh, conflict. He lived yes, the talks uh, since the 19th. Uh, it's just so sad to the Palestinians and to everyone believe in peace. Yes. 
Right, because you need you need people to talk, and he was a great talker. I'm sorry he, yes, he died yes. uh, from the coronavirus, but uh, the important to understand that you know uh, we 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 have to keep on going, and the fact that Hamas and the PLO uh, just split and they divided the the territory between them uh, make it impossible to to come to the table because Israel doesn't know who this speaks to if the Hamas and um, course, the PLO what I mean this is uh, now we are in a in, in not having a clear and unified Palestinian position it's very hard to to re- forward push forward the peacemaking efforts Right, but but I but I'm sure that something will come because Abbas is old enough that uh, yeah. they will need to have an election. And if you guys uh, insist of this time to make an election, and Hamas, Hamas uh, you know, um, one of the condition to to any kind of election to have a democratic election. Uh, you need to you, you need to stop using arm. You know you cannot attack like they cannot send kites to burn yes, the, the south of Israel. They need to stop it because if they listen, if they want to keep on going as a terrorist organization, well, and they joined Hezbollah, I, I, we cannot stop it. But we cannot make peace with them. You know they, they it's not a peace yes. war. If they stop. We can talk, and you guys are the youngsters there. You have the future, because once we have peace, we can start working together, we can start building schools, we can start having life, marriage, you know, building houses, and start coming to an agreement. That would be a good good idea. What do you think? Yes, of course. Uh, as you say, Hamas is, uh, is an armed uh, or organization, but they are right. also active in the politi- in the Palestinian political life. But uh, right. as you say, of course, there's many young Palestinians are want democracy and looking for it and looking actually for elections. I can say that Palestinians want and very needed to a new leadership, new leaders, young leaders who actually come with real reforms and uh, believing in the negotiations and they should go back to the table that uh, Mr. Saibarikat has been served and unfortunately he is uh, finishing his Ooh, life. Yes, uh, I'm so sad for that, but I'm sorry for that. But uh, now, what do you think about uh, Muhammad Dakhlan? Do you think Dakhlan can uh, make a, a part? I know he's an old figure. But he's still young and he can still get the troop. He still have a very strong voice in the world. Um, you know, maybe maybe you should think about it. I don't know what happened, why they don't like him, because he was working very hard in the peace process. And uh, he made a good relationship with other people yeah. and people are, uh, I, uh, they know him. So I don't know, but he, he goes like a, a, a guy that people can talk to. What do you think? Uh, you have an opinion or you don't know? Actually, um, I don't know uh, so much, but I can say uh, the Palestinians and both Palestinians and Israeli side should back to negotiations to uh, push efforts to making peace. Uh, Hamas is, as you say, is an armed organization. They should, they, they, they should stop that. They should back to negotiation table. Uh, but uh, uh, l- so let's start with well returning this, but, the know. soldier. If they return the soldier that they are, uh, they have in Gaza. If yeah. Hamas will stop burning, we'll we'll be happy to start talking to them. Like you know, like we never stop. You see. Like me and you, we get along very well and very fine and we like each other because we honor each other. We have respect to whoever we are. You do your job, you work hard. I do my job, I work hard. That's the respect of people who, who decide to live in peace in the world. If they want to peace, to have peace with Israel, you see, to, to fight us, it's not going to end. You know, you, you can fight us yeah, forever. Everybody no can yeah. fight, right? But we want to. We want to learn. We want to study. There is a lot of stuff. You know how much stuff you can study, how much technology and how much work if the world needs. You know how many countries don't do, don't have internet. 
Do you know how much you guys is young in art? You know, technology, you can spread to the world. I think that it's going to be wonderful. Listen, we ran out of time. I'm so honored you came on my show. You're always, you're always a great, great talker, and I appreciate what you say. And God bless you. Say goodbye to Thank everybody. You. Thank you for Love. having me. I was so happy. Thank you, Arlie. Okay, sweetheart. Be good. Be good, Amr. Be good. Go get the champion. Bye-bye. Thank you. And we'll be back after this. The Tamar Yona Show. Tamar? She's sassy. She's smart. She's funny. But she's also a real Jewish mother. Hi, everybody. I'm Tamar Yona. And yes, I can be all of those things. But at Israel News Talk Radio, I'm here to bring you the news stories and guests that you may not hear anywhere else. Join me live on air Sundays, Mondays, and Tuesdays for the most unique and bold talk radio in Israel. The Tamar Yona Show. Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Did you know this psalm and many others were composed by a Jewish shepherd and musician who later became a king? Would you like to know some of the inner meanings of psalms to help you connect with God and strengthen your soul? An exciting and easy to read book is now available, which will help you do just that. Software for the Soul, Psalms for Everyone, available on Kindle, Audible, and Amazon.com. Software for the Soul. And we are back. It's Orly Benny Davis, and this is From Jerusalem We Love. And we have one of our best friends from the Netherlands. Daniel, welcome to the show. Hello, uh, Orly. I'm, uh, I'm very thankful to be on the show, especially on this special day. And I want to say to you, Yom Hulet Sameach. <laughs> Thank happy you. That doesn't mean happy birthday in Hebrew. So, Daniel, thank you. You're so yeah. kind. You know, I'm having such a, an honorary day today because everybody from all around the world were sending me from the beginning of the day a blessing for happy birthday. So I felt really I'm feeling great. So having you on the show today even make it sweeter. Listen, Daniel, now you're in Europe. You know, you guys uh, have a, a different perspective from the American side. But you saw this election going on and Donald Trump and you know how he is. But he's an amazing guy and he's an amazing leader. Now, from the outside, did did it look right? The, res, the solution, the result, did it look right? Because we feel that there was something wrong with those uh, results. Well, only the results, of course, <laughs> they are wrong. It, it didn't right. start. Uh, it started earlier. It started much earlier. It started with all uh, the lawsuits when Trump won the last elections, when he became the 45th president. Everybody was against Trump. State institutes, ex-presidents, everybody was against Trump. And then suddenly, when these elections came, uh, Facebook and Twitter boycotted the campaign from Trump, from the Trump team. And when you realize that the big tech companies boycott an election, then it's already wrong. Then the fraud already starts. Because how can you speak about an honest election when the big social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter boycott the president who will be elected to be the 46th president? So. This was very wrong, and then yeah, then we saw the elections. Yeah, I I was up all night because it was night here, and I saw right. Trump winning, and yeah, then we saw the massive fraud from the Biden team. So right. there's a lot of fraud, and the results are not yet counted, and I'm thankful President Trump will be the 46th president of the United States of America. So right. God bless President Trump. God bless uh, President Trump. Listen, President Trump, 
not just for, from the Israeli side, you know, recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. He recognized the Golanites as, you know, part, independent part of the state of Israel, which is the, the, the sa to safeguard the state of Israel. He gave us a peace accord with Bahrain, with the uh, United Emirates and uh, Sudan that came to the table. Uh, stuff that we never dreamed up. Uh, it took forever. He just and he pulled the soldier out of um, you know arm way and he start talking balance of power being with Russia, with China, with uh, North Korea. He he was running the show so well, and all of a sudden he lost like a landslide. It's a uh, it, it's and and we know that there are videos. There are videos that uh, that yeah. that no, shows that. It's, it's, that it was to cheat. The it was a, they cheated him the from this election. Yeah, if you follow the campaign, you could see a winner, an honest, truthful man, a winner. Trump, and you could see a loser, Biden, who had nobody saw, uh, right to his rally. <laughs> and so, therefore, we all know Trump won, and he will be the 46th president. We don't have to. Uh, be afraid that Biden, well, it's not, people always say Biden, but it's not Biden, it's Biden, it's Clinton, it's Obama, it's all the same uh, group that's actually anti-Israel. Because don't forget, the, pres the present Obama gave to the Palestinian Authority. Don't forget the present Obama gave to Iran. And all this has been changed by Trump. So they're all against Trump, not only Biden, of course. And um, right. we'll, we'll see <laughs> that Trump will be the 46th president. And and you know what? The, the Iranian were so happy. All the bad guys were happy. You know, when the bad guys are happy, you will start to worry what's going on. And you know, for some reason, yeah. people the, from the Jewish um, from the Jewish community were afraid, and they said, you know, the Trump maybe had a anti-Semitism background or something like this, which is ludicrous because his his daughter is Jewish and his grandchildren are Jewish. It's like not saying even but but the fact that they live among those democratic people that really scare them because if you see what happened in LA what happened in Portland what happened in the democratic uh, city everything went bizarre they they were fighting in the street there was like antifa everywhere so nobody could feel safe but it wasn't all america it's only in the enclaves of the democratic party that's why the Jews in the Democratic Party felt threatened because they were part of that cities. Because elsewhere, it wasn't like this. You know about that. You know, you saw the movies. It was uh, yes. devastating. And, uh, you know, they didn't do nothing to stop the riots, uh, the breaking of the stores. Yeah. Anyway, tell me, how is Europe doing these days? Are you guys managing the, the coronavirus? Well, I, I, I don't, I cannot say it's a coronavirus, I can say it's a corona situation. And uh, we have, uh, in the beginning from the situation, in March this year, we always uh, heard and saw on the news how many people died from corona. Yeah. Now we right. don't hear how many people died, we only hear how many people are infected. So, to my opinion, this means that uh, we're being cheated in a very big way, because if before you say, oh, so many people died, so many people died, and now you don't mention how many people died, but you only mention how many people are infected. It means that, uh, to my opinion, the corona situation is being used not to for our health, not to protect us from a virus, but for uh, another reason. And um, yeah, many people in the Netherlands they just sit and they let it happen. Um, I think we should investigate, um, use our intelligence to see what's going on in Europe. Um, for sure, it's not going on to protect our health and to fight a virus. So we're now having a, we don't have a lockdown, but uh, we have many uh, rules that you cannot go out with more people, you cannot have many people visiting your house, um, but people all do it uh, voluntarily. 
So it's not that people have to be beaten to obey, but the Dutch people, they just obey. And I think if you use your brain and your intelligence, maybe right. you can see that. Um, yeah, well, that's, well, well, that's what's so the problem my, today. People don't think. Situation. They need to. They need to start uh, thinking about it. Listen, Daniel. It's so good to have you online today. I wish you well. Be safe, and uh, let's keep an uh, eye on what's going on in the election in America because we really need uh, to catch those bad guys that cheated. And uh, if it's all good, you know, we'll back up. Say we we're, uh, we're checking because it looks very bad from wherever we are sitting. Okay, Daniel, yes. be good, be strong, and um, let's uh, hope to, I, to see hope. you soon in Israel. Let, let yeah, I hope so. Let me wish you a very good forty-fourth birthday. <laughs> That, thank you. Yes, yeah, love that uh, one. Yes, I wish it was okay. true, but God bless you. Listen, Daniel, thank you so much, sweetie. Kisses to thank Holland, to much. Amsterdam. May well, may be blessed and well and happy as always. She's such a great thank country to the world. Thank you. Thank you, Oli. Oh, beautiful. Listen, guys, we have uh, um, almost wrap up this uh, segment. And uh, to say it clear, you see, the situation where we find out that there are uh, too many ballots that were, um, you know, uh, over arrived late in the game, were counted, but were not supposed. But, but that's the complication of those people who are trying to explain. I say something else completely different. First of all, audit those envelopes, audit them. But we have a different problem. You see, in any crime scene that you have, you have, um, you have to keep it sterile. And they contaminated that, uh, that all environment by throwing up the envelope. The envelope is a part, essential part of, uh, of a federal, federal election uh, ballots. You could not remove that envelope they should have been attached so you know the postmark where it is and where the ballot arrived and blah 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 the fact that they interfere with that it's it's already interfering in the uh, american democratic process and anybody who tells you that the, the envelope was not a part in interesting important part of the ballot uh, don't know crime and don't know uh, investigation and don't understand how things are supposed to happen. Now, uh, without the envelope, it's much harder. But the fact that they remove the envelope and throw them away makes you think how, how wrong it is. So all those envelopes might be need, need to be dismissed because they are not accountable to nobody. You cannot find out who may who send them, right? So if you you have a vote and you don't know who voted, um, it might be you know alien that came from out of space. You know we have some, right? In Nevada area, what is it, 15 or something they call it? Guys, let's go to a break and we'll be serious after the break, okay? Be well. In a time where feelings have become fact, where rational thought and common sense has disappeared, one man stands above it all. I'm Howie Sobaker, your political hitman. Political Hitman airs every Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. North American time, 7 a.m. Israeli time, only on Israel News Talk Radio. Are you interested in transforming your life, drawing closer to the Creator, and uncovering the deeper meanings and hidden treasures in the Hebrew Bible? Then join me, Rav Yitzhak Michelson, and me, William Hall, on the Science of Kabbalah, where we are seeking to narrow the gap between what we understand of our physical and spiritual worlds. So make sure to tune in every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Israel Time, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, here on Israel News Talk Radio.
And we are back. It's Orly Benny Davis, and this is From Jerusalem with Love. We want to say thank you to, uh, you know, incredible effort that uh, Russia with President Putin took uh, with taking on the court with Azerbaijan and Armenia. You see, the, the fighting was starting and nobody interfered. Uh, I know that Turkey has a, a, their eyes on the site, but uh, they they wanted the, the Nagorno-Karabakh um, region to be um, in dispute. And, uh, and Russia, Mr. Putin, uh, made an agreement, a ceasefire agreement, and he put uh, boots on the ground to, as peacekeeper to make it happen. And um, they let uh, Armenia give up uh, this region, even though that Armenia is going back. Even you know they have churches before, before the Azerbaijan even said. But um, the deal that they had uh, many many years ago with uh, you know the Russian deal uh, gave that uh, zone to Azerbaijan. So uh, the, it's nice that they had a peace accord. The negotiation made uh, Armenia lose the site, and now uh, the PM may lose his job because the people are calling for his resignation. But having said that, when we say Russia and we say Putin is doing a good job doing it, uh, we want to address the the prisoner, the U.S. prisoners that are sitting in the jail uh, for 18 months. We have uh, Paul Wheeler in uh, in. Uh, in Moscow, near Moscow, in the Gulag, and we have read that uh, maybe it's even more there that he uh, been uh, a prisoner. I know that uh, they are trying to negotiate a swap between Viktor Bullock and uh, Konstantin Yokanchenko, or Yokanchenko, and I know that there is a deal there to be made, and maybe Donald Trump can do it, uh, you know, while while we're waiting. This is the grace I was calling upon before, you know, you need to bring people back home, get grace. Yes, we don't like those people we arrest. We never like them. But like the Hamas needs to bring us the soldier back home, and uh, the, the Iranian needs to return um, Ron Arad back home, after so many years, and the, the Iranians are famous for keeping uh, people arrested for 20 or 30 years. It's uh, it's famous from the Iraqi war. Uh, we want to know that we have um, we have uh, some kind of humanity. Meanwhile, we're trying to scrimmage all this situation in America, because at the end of the day, if America is not stable. Nobody in the world is going to be stable. So you pray for peace of Jerusalem always, because uh, Jerusalem is the only side that keeps all this world well. And if Donald Trump is the one who watch over Jerusalem at this time of this universe, because nobody else, I, I, I've been fighting 23 years to bring the embassy to Jerusalem, and Donald Trump was the only one who made, made a case for that. I've been fighting so many years to have a, a freedom of religion on Temple Mount, and nobody listened. And we are hoping that Donald Trump will help us uh, get finally some rights to build the Holy Temple there, because it's going to be built. It's life. But before that, we need to take care of Ethiopia. There is, you know, fighting in Ethiopia, and the Tigris are taking over um cities and and it's all because they have the ark of the covenant it's not a story if people for a thousand years tell you that they have the ark of the covenant at least try to believe them and if there is a riot in that time and we want to build a temple it makes sense you know spiritually that's mathematic however think about it in a different way okay think about uh what happened in uh in this election in this election, we saw the gathering, an amazing uh, amount of people that Donald Trump had in every meeting, right? Amount. And uh, and frankly, you know, uh, Joe Biden couldn't fill up a telephone booth, right? So the people on the grounds are with Trump. So to say that the electoral vote, not, not the electoral, well, the popular vote is Biden, because you brought me a hundred thousand, a hundred million envelopes stating 
having people that died that register after die even um, or people that uh, don't know even that they voted on the list or people that don't exist or people from uh, anywhere I, ca I cannot trace them I need an envelope and trace them I need you to verify it to make an audit now, if not, you have to dismiss all those envelopes because it's not kosher. Now, uh, America, I'm so sorry. Uh, it's not your own business. This is the world business because I've been getting calls from all over the world screaming at me, Orly, what's going on? Why the cheating Trump from his election? Now, people on uh, Fox uh, or th that changed the, the note, I, for some reason, I don't know what happened. I felt like uh, that I was watching CNN all of a sudden. Uh, from the media, even in Israel, everybody's like pulling back and saying, okay, let's do the right thing. Let's." You cannot endorse a, a candidate before he was, you know, rightfully um, getting his position. So he didn't get his position rightfully, and we are disputing it. And we are disputing it not because we believe in Donald Trump, not because he's the best uh, president that's been for so long, not because he fights so hard for, for us everywhere, and he stopped war everywhere, which is incredible because everybody wants to be... Uh, to be talking to him instead you know we we can learn something from him yes is a street fighter nothing he can do about it that's the way he lives that's the way he works but he keeps he has so much energy that he have even time to to, to spare and talk to us what the, what's wrong with that now stop being you know if you want somebody to sleep on the job all day long maybe you 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 you, you would think that you would choose the right one so you can do whatever you do you want and just go on but right now well, Mr. Barr is investigating it so the FBI I hope they clean house but whoever not we're going to find out because we have you know too many players on the right team so it means that we are going to win it right but we win it with God because God is on our side and God is not a force that you can reckon with you see all this coronavirus you spill out all our holidays all our holiday every holiday you ruin every holiday no why the scientist needs to stop us just the old or because the vicinity no no we live in our friend you know in our community we must work there, there are so many diseases you never ended, you know, solving. You cannot just close the world and and put us all in the in close out, and until you figure it out. And now we have maybe the vaccine, and after we inoculate everybody, and we don't even know that the vaccine is a good one or if you sterilize the people. That's what people are claiming too. Um, you might be saying that um, we don't know who brought this uh, incredible uh, virus to the world because it's uh, not uh, natural. It's man-made. It's uh, it has too many figure configuration. This goes to the conspiracy of there is no food enough in the world, so we need to kill some people, or don't let them reproduce, or let them get sick. There is a lot of conspiracy. You know what? Until they get the proof, I cannot see it. But the the proof of cheating, to have a mil, hundred million ballots, the logistic, the post office, the delivery, the mailer, to arrive and to make the all rounded time in six months, guys, you're not that good. Okay, you're America, but the post office is not that good, and there is no claim from the post office that's saying there is a problem. Because if you pass so many mailers to one direction, there is congestion. And not just this, there is also a follow-up of um, investigation because I know how you work. And I know that uh, the people in, you know, in every area know exactly. So we need to investigate them to see if there was an uh, incredible amount of uh, mailer sent from one place. Because if their mailers come from a different county and it just um, stamped Biden and then there is no envelope, come on, guys. You see, the world is watching. 
and it's a movie. It's a reality show, and we see the old bad guys cheating. Now, we, we don't like it because we like every one of you. But, but please, don't think that we buy it. That's why Mr. Putin did not congratulate um, Mr. Biden because they are watching. You guys maybe not interfering, but they are watching. Everybody is watching. They know exactly what happened. So they, they are sending videos all over the net to tell you guys, wake up. Something went bad. So while I'm celebrating my birthday, telling you all that you need to recap your stuff because Donald Trump is not going anywhere because we we have, you contaminate the, the, the scene and you cannot prove us wrong. Uh, actually, we we are right and there are proofs. And in God will, we're going to let President Trump run another four years and maybe he'll help us uh, build the temple. Because if it's in God's will, who can stop us, right? This is God's plan. We are here for a purpose. That's why when we ask what happened all this time and all this world that is going crazy, it's because this uh, time of redemption, this is the time where we're coming back to God and say hallelujah. He's in control and he's the only boss in the world. And yes, if he wants to make us win, we'll win. God bless you all. Be well. Talk to you later. Ciao, ciao. Where can you get the inside news on Israel? At Israel News Talk Radio, we're dedicated to sharing Israel's inside story with the world by providing our listeners with news on Israeli politics, current affairs, and Israeli Jewish culture. The Israel News Talk Radio homepage also provides you, the listener, with useful information at your fingertips with scrolling news headlines, weather, currency exchange, Shabbat candle lighting times, and so much more. Our radio programming is always accessible and on demand. We operate absolutely free of charge for everyone, everywhere. If you love what we do, partner with us now by becoming an Israel News Talk Radio supporter. With your support, you'll be inscribed on our Israel News Talk Radio Wall of Fame. There's nothing like us in the world. Be part of something great. Israel News Talk Radio. Straight talk from Israel. Howdy, this is Rita from Leak City, Texas, now living in Israel. And though my heart may have belonged to Texas, it now belongs to Israel and all the fantastic show hosts at Israel News Talk Radio. Hi, this is Michael Solomon from Kiryat Arba, Israel. And why do I love listening to Israel News Talk Radio? Because I love listening to the interesting interviews they do and their news reporting that most other media sources don't cover. Hey, this is Nicole Eko from Malmo, Sweden. It gets pretty cold here in Sweden, so I love cuddling up with a warm cup of tea while I listen to Israel News Talk Radio. Hey, everybody, this is Frank Norris from Tennessee. Me and my dog Buster really love listening to Israel News Talk Radio. <laughs> You're listening to Israel News Talk Radio. News, opinion, and more. You're listening to Israel News Talk Radio.